Yeah. So assumption is what you're in. A, go, give me an example. Tottenham are in the league this season. That's it. You know. It's your boy Spets Gonzalez with um, I'm at Sky Sports, the home of Premier League action with over 128 games coming to you live. And this is a big episode of Assumptions. I've got my uncle. He's a YouTuber now as well. I'm a YouTuber. Uncle Gary is on YouTube. <laughs> TikTok star as well. TikTok, YouTube. Gary never in the house. How are you, man? I'm good. very good. All right, we're going we're gonna to go through this quickly. You will be Prime Minister one day. No. People keep saying that because I keep commenting on politics. But I'm only commenting on politics because of the guy that's leaving. And to be fair, I might even comment a little bit when this one comes in as well because... Ah, oh, you waste of time. People vote for Gary, man, please. Yes, vote for me, please. Even though I'm not there, vote for me. Uh, Ten Hag will succeed in rebuilding Manchester United. I hope so. And if he doesn't, it might not just be down to him. Great managers have been there over the last few years and they've struggled. You know, the intent's there to support him, obviously, in terms of the, the recruitment, the money, but you're up against some world-class managers and players. It's going to be tough, but I, I genuinely hope so. You're the most prepared pundit at Sky Sports. Used to be. <laughs> What, what, what do I mean by prepare by this? Preparation, you're talking about who watches the most matches, who reads up the day before. You can't beat Carragher on that. Is it? No, you can't beat Carragher on that. You say pundit, the most prepared are the commentators like Martin Tyler. They've got books like going into the games of like all the stats, all the detail. If you were playing, they'd know where your uncle was born, what street, and if there's another footballer born on that street, they'd tie it together, all that sort of what? stuff. So yeah. Well, that's yeah so Martin Tyler, but on the pundit side, Jamie Carragher. Martin Tyler, where's my uncle? I ain't seen him in years. Haaland is going to tear up the Premier League. He will. If this season, not sure. Bernardo Silva, Mares, Grealish, they take 12 months to get used to him and get used to the way and the style. I think they'll have a good season. The season after is when Pep signings ordinarily just tear it up. Raheem Sterling, every, all of them improve. Even Pep himself took 12 months. I think Chris Wood will score more goals. <laughs> That's my opinion. I've said it. I'd have kept that to yourself. <laughs> I like Chris Wood as well. I love Chris. No disrespect, Chris. You wish you could go back in time and convince Manchester United to hire Jurgen Klopp in 2015. I don't go back in time, but I wish they'd have appointed Jurgen Klopp. He's been supported at Liverpool by a brilliant backroom team who've got the players in for him who've... You don't know, I mean, every manager that's gone to United has, has struggled, but he's an exceptional manager. Of course, you, you wish we'd have appointed him. Right. Salford City will win the Premier League one day. One day, it could be, it could be in 100 million years. You never know. I hope so. That would be an absolute dream. It's hard though, isn't it? No, it's not. Is it not? I mean, Who do you team? support? I've got two teams. How can you have two teams? Why not? There's no rules. I never signed a manual about what team I should support. No, but you grow up with one team. Okay, so I'm And then you like think, hang on, they're winning, so I'll go and support them. And this week they're winning, so I go, oh, well, how's it work? So I grew up supporting Arsenal. Right. So what's that changed? To who? Burnley. What? But they got relegated, so I went back to Arsenal. Honestly. <laughs> I love Turf Moor. Well, take me there one day, please, Gary. You've not been? Never been Turf Moor. I only t I type it in a YouTube and I see it from a bird's eye view. I don't know if you're joking with me or anything. I'm serious. <laughs> I don't know if you're having me well, over. 100%. I'm serious. You're a Burnley fan? I'm a Burnley fan, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> oh! Gary, you have Diego Simone's posters in your bedroom. That wasn't me, by the way. That's, that's, that's the audience. It's a lie. Who's, who's come up with that? All right, next one. Hung Song is still underrated. Understated, not underrated. Try to think of a player like Iniesta or Paul Scholes. They're just, they've got that manner about David Silva. David Silva, yeah. David Silva. You know, David Silva's a world-class player. Unbelievable in Manchester City for 10 years. Sonny's an unbelievable player. World-class? Yeah, world-class. Yes, okay. But because he's understated, doesn't grab the headlines. He's, got, true, Kane, he's got Kane next to him. Understated, not underrated. Wayne Rooney was the most gifted footballer you've ever played with. Not far off. Paul Scholes. Dennis Irwin. Cristiano Ronaldo. Gifted. Oh, gifted. Can I just ask you, Eric Gemma Gemba, was he gifted? He was gifted to a point where he could play for Manchester United, which shouldn't be taken lightly. But not gifted when, you know, gifted Cristiano Ronaldo, gifted Eric Gemba Gemba, gifted Gary Neville. <laughs> you know, down here somewhere. No, no Gary. <laughs> Listen, you were better than that, I'll tell you that. You never go back to Valencia on a holiday. I would. I love the place. Honestly, it's an unbelievable place. What was the stadium called? Mastaya? Mastaya. Mastaya. The problem was there in Valencia for me was that I lost too many football matches. But I didn't lose as many as people think. How many did you lose? I had 28 matches, won 10, lost 11, drew 7. If you're a Burnley fan, it's probably better than Burnley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm back to Arsenal now. Right, last one. You are the new king 
of YouTube football. <laughs> I'm not the new king of YouTube football. I couldn't get a television company to take my concept. <laughs> and YouTube's free. So I just stuck it on there. <laughs> Do you know something? Mm. I love football. I love doing Sky. I love doing the live games. But I've been doing it for 11 years. And you go, it's dead serious. And so you've got to talk about the football. And you've got to talk about signings. You've got to talk about the positions, relegation, promotion, Champions League, all that. And sometimes that's what I had to go away and just do non-life football, non-life sport. I was thinking podcast at first. But I thought, no, I want to do something a bit different. So I thought, no, I'm going to go for it. The, the overlap came from mm. overlapping fullback, mm -hmm. and we were going to overlap into different spaces, like different sports or music or something. So that was where the, the idea came from. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to copy you. What are you going to call it? No rules. Because I can go anywhere. There's no rules. I can support Burnley. I can support Tottenham next year. There's just no rules. You could call it Arsburn. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, Specs Gonzalez is out of here. Hey. People, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, it's um, I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, Gary, thank you.